pointy. There's still plenty to do inside and out. Now this has got to be my least favourite job to do. We've got to dig out some new trenches for the services. We've got gas in here, we've got water, we've also got electric. Now before you start getting a machine and digging out new trenches, you must expose these by using a shovel. Once you've found where they are, it's a lot safer to work around. You can lay some ducking in there and then at a later date, fit the real pipes in. Down here, we've also got to cater for the drains. Now we've got storm water, which is coming down off the roof, all the way down through a drain pipe, we need to put a new drain in the floor into an inspection chamber here where Ian's working, take it down to the corner, return it to the back of the house and meet the existing drains. Little does Craig know that very soon this day is about to go from bad to worse. Disaster strikes. Whilst digging the trenches to lay the new pipework, one of the labourers hits the water main. If this happens and you can't turn the water off to the house, there's only one thing you can do. Call the water board. They can locate a stop valve which feeds the street. But that takes time. Harry, Jay's gone through your water pipe. So work stops as Craig and the team await the arrival of the experts. But despite the hassles happening outside, Gordon has to motor on inside. Now you can see why this is my least favourite job, which is exactly the reason I got Ian to help me. Well, it's a tough job, but someone has got to do it. I know, I know. <laughs> After you'd sat on the mini digger and dug the trenches out, <laughs> we put this pea gravel down to yep. support the pipes and we've got it going down this run. We've got it all running to levels and every time we've connected a new pipe, we've, we've put a, a, an inspection chamber in and also when they change direction. That's right, because we've had one feed coming from our house, one from Harry's next door and then this final third one, we'll take it down to the back of the house to connect yeah. into the main drains. Yeah. That's great, we've got a good concrete base under the bottom of it. Should keep it nice and solid once it's set. Yes. Excellent. Yeah, I'm wet through, <laughs> I'm tired, and I'll tell you what, I the beers are on you tonight. Well, this is certainly wet and appetite, hasn't it? In six months, the property has been transformed from a tired and crumbling hovel to a bright and contemporary group of flats. It has bold colour schemes, ingenious design features, stylish bathrooms and fully functional kitchens. Each apartment has been given a unique and individual identity. The team are back to take a look at their finished handiwork. My first memory when I got here was when the face of the building, there was no face. Well, it was uh, a bit of a wreck. Yeah, it's got here, it's just empty. This room ain't even here. The spiral staircase, they ain't even opening for that, yeah. And who can overlook the burst water main? The water pipe that burst outside, that was one of the things that we didn't expect to happen, but obviously um, things don't always go right. And the almighty job of the bay window. But the bay window was a phenomenal job, to be honest, because I mean, it all started with the rot problem. We found it throughout the whole building, but I mean, the bay window was just something you'd look at and say exactly what can rot do to your house. And that was it, really, it can cause the front of your house to fall out. So while writing on the wall, which has obviously come from your book, what yeah. was your first impressions when you seen it? Um, I was trying to figure out who wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> As an architect, do you think this has converted well? I think it's converted excellently. Yeah, I mean, you and I have done it, so I'm, I'm bound to say that. So, but I think it's worked really well. Cool. Uh, I think the separation of spaces work well. I uh, think the way it laps from front to back, particularly this apartment, is really interesting. I could live there myself. <laughs> In fact, I'm thinking. 
I'm going to move in. It's been tough, and we got over the mountains, but I think we've got there. I think it's brilliant. I've yeah. loved it. Totally agree. That's been the most toughest thing I've ever did. Yeah. But just look at the results, what we've achieved here. I mean, you designed this. You built it. But it has been a roller coaster of a conversion. And do you know what? I've got another idea, right? Oh, not a house. I need a rest. No, I need a holiday. I'm, I'm being big. Uh, I'm doing a church. I'm seeing the beach. I just want to relax. Oh.